Thank you so much for watching. Here we go doing the watercolor wet on wet, mostly wet on wet tutorial for this beautiful blue jay. Now um, you can see I've done a little detail there in the uh, in the head and his head. I just did a lot of, uh, of watercolor, really thick pigment there uh, in the dark area. It's just like a dark blue. And then here in the belly, I just did a really wet, wet brush with a really diluted pigment and I'm getting the under color of his underbelly. So just like a grayish color. Now while it's still really wet, I'm getting my shadows in. This is a Payne's Gray and I'm just gonna get, get my lines. I have the sketch in there so I'm just following my lines and my sketch, getting the shadows in, getting, it's really the mid-tones that I'm getting in right now. I just cleaned up a little bit there with a damp brush. You can see I didn't want it to be too too dark so and I'm adding some more shadows, different colors, just kind of letting it drip and bleed and doing whatever the paint wants to do. So I don't have too much water outside of my sketch line of the belly. I'm, because I'm not ready to um, have it go out too far yet. I want to save it for the the more dark, you know, the more intense colors. So now it, it, I'm actually tilting the canvas. That's what I'm doing there. If you see it moving, I'm tilting the canvas a little bit, trying to control the water. And now I'm adding just water on the outside. So some of that color will drip a little bit on the outside, but I didn't really want too much. I wanted to save it for the brighter colors, but I wanted it to blend. I didn't want there to be a hard line for the underbelly. You can kind of see where the, the sketch is. Okay, so using a little thicker paint here, I pretty much did the same thing for the first layer under there with the feather, let it dry. Now I'm adding um, a little thicker layer, a little dry brushing there too, which means not a lot a pigment or water on my brush. Now this is gouache. This is an opaque watercolor. Um, it's white gouache and I mixed it with a little bit of my blue, cerulean blue, to get that kind of light pretty color. Now while that was still wet, um, my brush was really wet. I added a lot of water to my brush and a lot of pigment, a lot of the blue, and just charged it in there, just put it on there and let it let it sit, let it dry like that, nice and thick, so um, it'll be you know, op opaque and I'll have some texture is what I was looking for. I really want it to, I don't want it, I really want it to kind of look like fluffy feathers, so. Then I add just water a little bit in the end there so it would bleed down into the, the tips of the feathers there. And again, you can see I'm tilting the paper, kind of moving the water and the paint around, and I'm just letting the paint do what it wants to do. Again, I want the glare there, sorry about that, but you can kind of get what I'm doing. I want it to look kind of you know, fluffy and, and messy, and so I'm not worried too much. I'm not moving the paint around too much. Um, now here I go, I'm going to let that dry, and I uh, got some really thick thick color blue. I'll put the colors in the um, description below. So this is wash, white wash mixed with the blue with a medium water consistency on my brush. It's, it's on the kind of on the wetter side. I don't want any hard lines so I'm keeping my brush pretty wet and I'm letting it drip. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm mixing my paint right now but I'm also kind of keeping the, um, the canvas tilted because I don't want, again, I don't want any hard lines and I really want to control the water. So now I'm, I wet it right there and I'm just getting my base colors, a nice light base color so it comes through um, when I put on the darker color. Now I'm kind of going outside, adding water. I'm going to make kind of a nice wet on wet effect. While the paint is still wet, I add water outside the subject and then the paint just kind of drips out. You touch the paint just a touch, just a little bit. You blend it out there and it creates a nice, cool bleeding effect. So 
So you can see I'm trying to get rid of that harsh, that, not really harsh line, but a hard line of the top of his head. I, I don't really want it too hard. So I lightened it there. That's what I was doing. So now here I go, really wet, really wet brush, water, doing a little pink now, getting some other colors in there besides blue. And I go in there with some gray. Okay. Um, again, just the base colors. As far as the hue, it's one of the lightest, the lightest tone. Picking up some with a damp, wet brush. And now you can see uh, how kind of nice the wing is looking now that it's drying. It looks nice and fluffy and uneven, which is what we want. We don't want too much, I don't want too much um, detail on, on his wings because I want to keep this nice and loose. So now that that area is dry, I'm going over it with the tips of, of his wings with some lighter color. So this is a turquoise color. This is really kind of fun. I love this color. And just following my sketch, as you can see I did a pretty detailed sketch and the sketch is actually done with a water soluble graphite. So um, it, it kind of dissolves with the water and the, and the water color so there are no, um, you know, I, I don't mind to see the lines, line drawing through the water color but sometimes, sometimes you may not want it, sometimes you do, but just just to be sure, I wanted to keep this nice and um, loose. I did the water soluble graphite pencil. Now I'm just picking up and making some highlights, I'm keeping the low lights there, mixing, mixing my colors. That's all I'm doing when I'm off camera there. Now this is gouache adding some highlights while the other colors are still damp so it blends in so it all blends in and I'm just kind of testing I think I decided to let it dry some more the gouache was just absorbing and it really wasn't doing anything so I decided to let the end of the wings there dry while I do his tail and you can see um, I just did the first coat of the tail and I just kind of did the layers of his wing there and I kind of sped this up because I used pretty strong pigment as you can see and I just followed my sketch with the wing there. Now this is actually the fun part. So right here, I just, the wing was still a little wet there, the paint, so I just took some plain water, touched the edge there a little bit, brought the water out across my canvas, and then added a little pigment there. I just charged it, some pure pigment. Then let, I'm tilting my canvas, you can see, moving the water around, you can see that right there, it was pretty drippy. Then I added some yellow, and um, I didn't, I, all I did was touch the water with my brush with pure pigment on there so the colors wouldn't mix too much. Like if they mix, they mix on the paper. So here's kind of a, a cool, a close up of the uh, bleed that I did. So uh, lots of water right against the back of the bird. And because I didn't put any water in the bird in the subject, the paint isn't going to drip in there. It's just going to stay on the edge and I want it to drip down to the edge of the bird and the wing there so the pigment kind of builds up and creates a nice fine line there. Um, and it gives the bird a definition. So here I go with a pretty strong pigment here and I'm like, oh, it's a little strong. So all I did was just add some water and blend it out. Blot it with a tissue and I actually really liked that effect. It kind of had the paint from the tail come down and blend in with it. So now I'm adding, now while everything's still wet, the paper is a nice uh, wetness that I like. I'm blending it in the body and the legs uh, just with a mid-tone. 
So I let everything dry and added some detail with colored pencil. I did do a little more gouache for the white highlights and here you have it. I will have this up as a full tutorial on my Patreon channel. If you'd like to go there, there are some longer free videos that you can check out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.